Welcome back to this week's health segment on Conversations with Nicole. Today's special guest is Ms. Kathy Atkinson, the CEO of Big Ben Hospice. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you, Nicole. It's good to see you good again. Good to see you, too. So you've been with hospice about five years I have, now, yes. right? And I know you've been very busy. We have been, and you know, we service eight counties mm -hmm. in and around uh, Leon County, and um, we have quite a bit of rural care that we provide. Actually, okay. half of our care that we provide is in the rural county, mm -hmm. so we uh, s serve a real need out there. Excellent. So, you know, there have been some national tragedies that have taken place as it relates to, you know, some racial issues and law enforcement officers, and I know grief counseling is, is one of the services that you all provide. Can you tell me a little bit more about how that works and who, you, who that may be extended to? I would love to. Um, we have a very uh, good bereavement department. We have children's bereavement also, and um, we provide um, care to anyone that needs bereavement care. So anybody that's grieving for whatever reason, mm -hmm. um, it does not necessarily have to be the death of someone. Okay. Uh, we have support groups that we offer all hours of the day mm -hmm. and night, actually. And uh, we also have one-on-one -on -one counseling with our grief counselors. Excellent. I know hospice provides end-of-life care for folks. How do you assist people in identifying when maybe a loved one may need hospice services? Well, we work with all of the healthcare providers in our eight county service area, and we actually have um, our community relations staff go out and speak at churches, um, health fairs, anywhere that we can get an audience to talk about hospice mm -hmm. and end of life planning. Okay. Uh, we have a program called the Peace Program and it's for advanced care planning and in, in, in the nutshell, it just means to start thinking about what you would do if you know, you're in a terrible accident mm -hmm. and, um, you know, if you had to be on life support, would your family, you know, mm -hmm. don't leave that decision to them, go mm -hmm. ahead and make that decision. Yeah, that's, that can be tough, but yes. those are conversations that do need to be had. They are, and we also do something, it sounds kind of morbid, but it's called a death cafe. We do it once oh. a quarter. Okay. And we have anywhere from seven people to 30 people show up that want to talk and find out a little bit more about death and dying. It's, you know, it's kind of a taboo subject. Mm -hmm. And depending on, I guess, culture too, on whether people are willing to talk about it. Right. Uh, Reverend Candace McKibben is our Faith Outreach Director. I don't know if you know. Yeah, I do Candace. remember Ms. Yeah. Reverend Candace, yes. Um, and so, and uh, Reverend Dr. Lenny Marshall works uh -huh. for us. Okay. And so they, both of them are out and talking to anybody that will listen to us, particularly minorities. Okay. Um, there are some cultural reasons why we mm -hmm. have found that African Americans don't necessarily choose hospice. Mm -hmm. And because of our efforts, um, we have increased the number of African American patients that we have. Uh, which I believe is very, very important. If you look across mm -hmm. the nation, I think it's like 5% of all wow. Medicare deaths are minority, mm -hmm. and for us it's about 25%. Oh, wow. So, so we have made it. really made it a concerted effort. We have, and um, you know, we believe at Big Ben Hospice that no one should die alone, and no one should die without hospice care. Nice. Yeah. So you have an event coming up, the Tree of Remembrance. We do. So tell us a little bit about uh, that. It's out at the Governor Square Mall. Okay. And um, gosh, I, I can't remember if it's in the center court or not, okay. but we have about a 25-foot tree, and uh, it is a way to remember people um, who may have died or also just an honor of somebody. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a great fundraiser for our uh, uncompensated programs. Bereavement is actually one of those things. Music okay. therapy uh, and our chaplains are too. Excellent. Yeah. Well, we'll get some more information on the screen about that. I want to thank you for joining us for this health segment. Thank you, Nicole. Stay tuned for more.